People spend nights in the outdoors in a variety of ways, from tent camping to car camping and everything in between. I'm your neighborhood reporter Brady Kasky, and in this week's Idaho Backroads, we take you to the mountains outside of Idaho City, where you can spend a night in a yurt like this one behind me, 365 days a year. These yurts are a really unique recreational opportunity for people from Idaho or visiting Idaho. Haley Brookins is the non-motorized trails coordinator for the Idaho Department of Parks and Recreation. She oversees the Idaho City Yurt Program and says yurts help make backcountry camping accessible. It's also a great entry level way to go camping in the backcountry. Rather than starting from just a dirt patch, you have shelter, you have a cook place set up. So it's a really awesome family friendly recreational opportunity for people who might be newer to experiencing the backcountry. Each yurt is stocked with about everything you'd need for a night in the wilderness, from pots, pans, and cooking supplies to board games, firewood, and bunk beds. They cost $115 a night for Idaho residents or $125 a night for out-of-state visitors. The Idaho City yurts are really highly popular and talked about during the winter months. But there are also some really awesome recreational opportunities in the summer for hikers and mountain bikers and stock users, wildlife viewers, people that like to forage for mushrooms or look at pretty wildflowers. The yurts are about an hour and a half drive northeast of Boise, up Highway 21. Due to their remote location, Haley and her team rely on the guests to leave the yurts better than they found them. Our program staff is only able to get up to these yurts once every three to four weeks to keep them clean and restocked. So it's really important that if you are leaving the yurt that you leave it cleaner than you found it because the guest behind you isn't going to have a cleaning service coming in most likely. The yurts offer stunning views of the mountains and wilderness in the area and are operated on land owned by the Boise National Forest. So we work closely with them to make sure that these remain a safe and accessible opportunity for the public. There are currently six yurts like this one that folks can reserve up to nine months in advance. The Idaho Department of Parks and Recreation tells me a seventh yurt is planned to open sometime this fall. For this week's Idaho Backroads, I'm your neighborhood reporter Brady Kasky for Idaho News 6.